Hey everybody, Prepper Nurse One here. Today is Saturday, January 2nd, 2021. Uh, it is, well, so over there it looks nice and clear and blue. And over here where the sun is, it's overcast and it's dark. <laughs> so, uh, temperature's not bad today, but uh, just another, just another day grind it out uh, we did have quite a bit of ice last night by this morning the temperatures had risen enough where everything that had frozen had melted so as far as I know there wasn't any power outages in the area that I know of I didn't hear of any um, but up here everybody seemed to be okay uh, my neighbors I watched their lights to see if their lights went out last night and theirs never did so uh, so that's not a bad thing uh, I wanted to do, oh, so first I wanted to address something really, really quickly before we jump into this video. So, during my stream last night, at the end of my second stream, somebody had said to me, are you okay, your left eye looks droopy. So here's, here's what, um, actually what happened, uh, and it's happened to me a couple times lately, and I don't know what the heck's going on with that, but, uh, I was way overheated, um, with the light shining on me. And it was warm in there, and I had a fire obviously going in the house. And uh, it just, uh, when I got done with the stream, I actually felt like I was going to pass out last night. That's where I, I, I immediately turned the fan on that you, here I'll turn this around so you can see. Um, that window's open, yes, I know it's winter, and the window's open and we have snow on the ground. Um, I turned that fan on and I sat in front of that fan and had that cold air uh, blowing on me and within sight of a couple of minutes I felt much, much better. Uh, I don't know what that's about, to be honest with you. There's a little Miss Molly, a little crazy girl. Um, I don't know what that's about, so I don't know why that happens, but I really felt overheated. Um, so maybe that was part of it, I don't know. Part of it, maybe I was tired too, I have no idea. But uh, that's that's what happened, so I was just like, it was bizarre, to be honest with you. Uh, it was a weird feeling. But anyway, so that being said, I wanted to uh, do a quick video. Uh, title of this video is Time to Get Your House in Order. Um, I want to really, really encourage people to get their things squared away, um, to be as ready as you possibly can be. Uh, again, the unknown, the uncertainty of things uh, is always going to be nerve-wracking, and people have no idea, uh, you know, what's going to happen, where we're, we're headed, what's going on. Uh, those are, the, you know, that those unknowns can really make you apprehensive. Uh, you know, scared, whatever the case may be. But, uh, you know, if if you have your stuff more squared away, if you're ready for whatever the case may be, you're going to be in a much better situation. So here's something, you know, to think about with that, okay? Uh, food prices are never going to be cheaper than they are right now. Uh, food prices continue to go up and up and up um, with no sight of going down. Uh, anybody, you know that has seen anything going on knows that uh, the cost of food is just continuously going up and ridiculously so. Um, again, so whatever you buy today, uh, two weeks from today, a month from today, it's not going to be cheaper. It'll probably be actually be more expensive at that point. Um, you know, so th those are things that people really need to take into consideration. Um, excuse me, you did not ask permission to leave the area? Did you get them? Did you get the mail? Yeah, nothing for you. Okay. Did that come from for you? Back? What? Did that come? No. Okay. All right. Um, so, anyway, um, and then we got Mr. Buddy here. So, you're not drinking and driving, are you, Ma? What? You're not drinking and driving, are you? Not yet. Okay, good. Just make sure you don't. But here's some good advice drink a lot and drive fast. Okay? All right. <laughs> She's got the best sense of humor. She really, really does. Um, but anyway, you know, with um, everything that is going on, like I said, food prices are never going to be cheaper than they are right now. So definitely take advantage of that. Take advantage of the fact that there's food on the shelves right now, uh, that things are out there to be able to pick up and get. Uh, definitely, you know, 
have ways to purify water. I've talked about that many, many times. That's probably the number one thing that you're going to make sure that you need to do because the last thing you want to be able to do is be sitting on a nice stockpile of food, drink tainted water, get diarrhea, and then pass away uh, because you died from dysentery. Not a nice way to go out, okay? Oh, I wanted to bring something else up yesterday, too, and I, I, I always found this, like, absolutely fascinating, okay? So I was showing some of my um, stuff that I have, and so somebody's like, oh, some of those cans look pretty rusty. Well, they're just dirty because, you know, the dust and everything gets on top of them, and that happens. But uh, anyway, people were like, oh, you know, that's high in sodium, this is that, this is the other thing about that type of food. All right, and I do have spam, by the way. Um, so people were asking, "Where's the spam? Where's the canned ham?" I have both of those as well. Okay, but um, what I what I find amazing is, you know, people say, "Well, I wouldn't eat that, and I wouldn't do this, or I wouldn't do that." I'm going to tell you right now. I don't care how high in sodium something is. If it is the end of the world as we know it, and you are starving and I bring you out this can of whatever and say, this is all I have, you're going to be grateful and you're going to thank me. You're not going to care if it's high in sodium or whatever the case may be. Uh, a lot of those things, that, especially the canned stuff, uh, those are comfort foods, realistically. And that's the premise of having them um, you know, like even the canned peaches and pears and pineapples and fruit cocktail and, and those type of things, um, you know, those are comfort foods. You know, those are something to give you some form of normalcy. What people really lose sight of in a post-event, you're going to want to try, um, as difficult as it may be, you want to try to keep things as normal as possible. Why? Because that gives you that semblance that things aren't as bad as they are so in a post event if uh, you can still take a hot shower and feel clean if you can get a good night's sleep and feel rested if you can have a decent meal and be full you know those are things that we all take for granted take you know we don't even think about right now because we're not in that situation but if you're in that situation where you're hungry, you're cold, uh, you're not getting proper sleep, your mind is not going to be working properly to be able to deal with the situation, to deal with what is going on. And so that is why I think, like I said again, it's really, really important to try to keep things as normal as you possibly can. What am I doing here? There we go. There's that one. I'm just going to open these up and look and see where we are eggs wise what come on off of there come on all right let's see nothing on this side except for a dirty fake egg now, i already did pull some eggs out today but i'm not going to tell you yet come on boy oh, okay so we got one more here no, no, leave those kitties, or leave those kitties, leave those chickens alone. All right, well, this is a nice and warm one, too. That's a nice egg. Um, but again, so, you know, with, with everything that is going on, with all the uncertainty in the world, I really want to encourage you all to get your houses in order. Get yourself squared away. Um, Okay, so we're getting the stimulus check, right? We know we're going to get at least 600 um, If they decide to come through and give us more, great. I would highly, highly encourage you to take that $600 and put it into preps. Put it into tangible things. Uh, back door, Beck. Um, put it into things that are going to be worth something. You know, food. Something that's going to have value. Um, something that you're going to need. You know, even in, you know, water, you know, getting uh, cases of water, whatever the case may be, whatever way you want to do it. Again, a lot of it depends on what part of the country you're in. It makes such a huge difference. Uh, where I'm at, okay, water is very abundant here. So that's a nice thing. Uh, it's, a, it's a good feeling knowing that water is not going to be an issue even in a post-event because I have an artesian well. 
that the water is always coming up in. I don't have to worry about trying to pump it out from great distances down out of the ground. We have natural springs all over the place on the property as well. So those are nice things to have. Again, when you're looking for a piece of property too, that's always another thing too, is you're going to look strategically where you're at and what you can do and all those type of things. Um, just being as ready as you can be, guys. That's, that's the important thing right now. Um, that's what I want to encourage everybody to be doing. Continue to get ready. Don't stop. Don't hit pause. Whatever's happening around the world is going to still happen, no matter how much we fret about it, how much we think about it. So if you can shut that part of it off a little bit in your brain, still kind of pay attention, obviously, of what's going on, but just continue to get ready. Continue to move forward. Don't stop. You know, don't don't think, okay, well, things are going to be okay and I don't have to worry about things. It's not that time. Um, we need to continue to do what we need to do. Uh, be as ready as you can be. And when a time comes, then we act. We don't react. And that's a good place to be in, okay? And it's a real good place to be in. So, so anyway, obviously I had Mr. Buddy helping me collect eggs over here. So, anyway, I want to hear your guys' feedback on this topic, okay? Um... You know, it's uh, definitely, uh, you know, definitely, it's an interesting time we're living in. It is definitely an interesting time, and who knows what's going to happen. So we just need to be, you know, as ready as we can be, be able to deal with what we got to deal with, and we got to go from there. Um, I will be doing a second video later today, so I will give you the egg count on that video, okay? But we know, you guys know now, I have at least one. I did get eggs earlier, which I will not say how many, um, and I'm sure there'll be more later. So, uh, but uh, pretty mellow day, which is good, and the birds and everything are doing fine. And uh, so there we are. All right. So remember, guys, we are all in this together. That is important to remember. Uh, tomorrow, you know, like I said. Hold on a second. I'm just listening to that. Okay. So tomorrow, tomorrow, like I said. Uh, and I'm going completely blank here on what I was going to say. We are all in this together. We are one race called the human race. Um, that is important to remember. Okay, When we can focus on that and not focus on the other nonsense, we're going to be in a lot better shape. Also remember to hug and kiss the ones you love. Tell them every single day. Uh, tomorrow is not guaranteed. We never know what's going to happen in life. So it's really, really important that we tell the people that we care about every single day how we feel. Also remember, guys, STD. Step, thing, and day. It's one step at a time, one thing at a time, and one day at a time. Whatever you're trying to accomplish, whatever you're trying to do, you can do it. The only one that's going to stop you from reaching those goals is you. Nobody else can stop you. Stay positive, stay away from the negativity, and you're going to be just fine. Okay? Uh, hang in there, guys. Things will get better. We just have to be ready for whatever life throws our way. All right? I will talk to you all later. Prepper Nurse 1, out for now.